So for those of you that already have it, please make sure you guys, uh, you can just check your work. I know not everybody got M's, so you're gonna wanna maybe double check, make sure how you have it, um, Isabelina. But then for the rest of you, you guys already have your work, you guys can continue on that. So remember we have the equation is 5G plus 4K equals 10, and then we have negative 3G minus 5K equals 7. All right, so remember when solving a problem like this in elimination, we talked about adding and subtracting the equations. But we only talked about adding and subtracting the equations when the coefficients were exactly the same. Well, I look at the coefficients of G. Those are not exactly the same. Then I look at the coefficients of K. Those are not exactly the same. So the next thing we looked at was, well, how, you know, what are ways we can make them the same? And we worked usually with multiplying one equation or the other by a multiplier, right? And usually just when we multiplied one equation by a multiplier, we were able to get the same coefficients. However, what we're going to have to do for this problem is we're going to have to multiply both equations by a multiplier. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a decision. We're going to have to make a decision on what variable we want to eliminate, meaning what variable do we want to get to have the same coefficients. Right, Chris? Yeah. So when you look at this, because this is, this is like the part where you're coming in, is we want to say, do we want to get 5 and negative 3 to be the same, yeah. or do we want to get 4 and 5 to be the same? Vincent, which one would you choose? I chose negative 3 and 5. Okay, so let's get these to be the same multiplier. So to, yep, go ahead. There you go. So what you want to determine is you look at the absolute value of the numbers and say, what is the least common multiple? What is the smallest number that they both could divide into? And you could say the LCM is going to equal 15. If you guys remember, like back in the day, you guys learned how to do this? Yes? Could you hold on for a second as I finish this? Yep. Um, no, you, all you want to do is just make sure you multiply to get your multipliers. The main important thing is that you have the same coefficients. So we're going to multiply by 3 and 5. You would have multiplied by 5 and 4, right? Would have been the same thing. But you don't need to change the negative signs unless you need or want to. Because remember, when they have the same value but opposite signs, you can easily just add them up. Yes? You can use that, and you're still going to get the same answer. It's just going to be higher numbers that you're going to have. But the answers are still going to be the same. Right. You're just dealing with higher numbers. OK, so if you said, if you said, if you did 30,000 and 20,000, do you think you might sometimes it, the work might be a little bit different? I'm just saying, not always are the on numbers going to be as easy. You always want to use your least common multiple because then at the end, you always don't have to reduce or so forth. You can use whatever numbers you want to, but usually if you don't use the least common multiple, that's the least amount of work that you're going to have to do. A lot of sometimes if you choose larger numbers, you're going to have to reduce at the end or add and subtract larger numbers. That's why I said it was more work. OK? So now, what we do for this problem is we simply go ahead and take and we add them up. So since I now have a positive and a negative, I add them together. So therefore, this goes to 0. And now I have 13k equals 65. Thank you. Trevor, are you writing this one down? OK. So then we divide by negative 13. <laughs> And we get k equals negative 5. Now, once you determine what negative 5 is, you plug that back into one of your other equations. It doesn't matter which one. You could plug it into this one, or you could plug it into these two, right? But I would say these would be the easier ones because they're just dealing with smaller numbers. So to me, it's less work. But you can plug them into this one if you want to, all right? 
So here I multiply k into negative 5, so I'll use the top equation. So 5g plus 4 times negative 5 equals 10. 5g minus 20 equals 10, plus 20 on both sides. 5g equals 30, divide by 5, g equals 6. 4 times 5 is negative 20. So plus a negative 20 is the same thing as minus 20. Does anybody else have any other questions on what I did? Yes? I did the other way, right? Okay, let me, let me just stop this video and then I'll, I'll address your question on that, okay?